Continuing with the light here, let's go ahead and select all of these now and press Control J. And let's try and smooth it. I'll come up here to Object, Shade Smooth. And let's go over and turn on our normals over here, our auto smooth. And this looks pretty good, but I think I could maybe drag it up a little bit more. Yeah, to just over 35 it looks like. And that gives us some semblance of having those kind of rounded edges here on the back. All right, let's um, take it in and put it on the vehicle now. Let me move that cursor to this point right here, Shift S2, and then we'll move the origin, set origin to the 3D cursor. Now we can use this to pop it into place a little easier. So if we bring back the vehicle like this, what I can do is actually come up here, select this piece, tab into edit mode, and maybe select that face. Then I can press Shift S2 and move the cursor there. Now that that cursor is there, what I can do is select that light that we just created and snap it to the cursor. So let's press Shift S and we can choose Selection to Cursor. Now that'll pop that light right into place. And from here, all we've got to do is just scale it down. There we go. Now let's tumble around and see how it looks. Let me uh, take a look at these others and kind of see how big they are compared to everything else. Let me uh, close this. I'm going to join that. And yeah, so this looks pretty good. I feel like it's probably a little too small. Let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger like that and maybe push it down just a hair like that. Let's see how that works. The only problem I see is that this looks a little more square and this looks a little more rectangular. So I think maybe if I tab into edit mode and just select this part of it right here, can I scale it in the X just a bit and maybe scale it in the Z just a bit, bring it down some like that. And then maybe pull it out and bring it down like that. Let's try that. Because sometimes you can't really see the scale and proportion of something until you put it with everything else. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. That feels a little bit more in line with the rest of the vehicle and with the images here. All right, so with that in place, let's go ahead and go to the top view. And instead of mirroring it over, I'm going to go ahead and just press Shift D and X and move it in the X axis. And I'm doing this because I want to be able to turn them individually because it looks like they're all turned in different ways here. So I want to take this now and move it forward, Shift D Y, move it up to here, and then I'll move it onto this platform. And I believe it's going to be a little too low. Yep. Yeah. So let's move that up to there. And then. Let's go back to the top view and press Shift D X and move this. And this looks like it's kind of in the center of that longer piece there. So let's go ahead and move that to there. Now I can just turn these as I'd like. So I'm going to press R Z and turn it like this. And maybe this one I'll press R Z and turn it out. This one maybe it's pointing behind them R Z like this. And I don't know if they have individual control of these like from inside, but still, let's go ahead and turn them like this. Yeah, so they just don't all look the same here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have the lights on. Let's take a look at what else we might need to put on here. Well, I think the other thing we can do is work on this rear fender. That's a pretty prominent piece that we haven't worked on yet. I think we could begin with a cylinder, delete what we don't need, and then apply a solidify modifier. So let's try that. I'll go to the side view here, and let's uh, go to wireframe, and I'll create a cylinder. And for this, I think we're going to need more than 12 sides on this. In fact, I think we're going to need something similar to this. 
I'm going to go ahead and give it 32 sides. That's quite a lot, but I want to make sure it's smooth enough or has a, a nice smooth curve to it. I'll press RY90. And let's bring it up and put it into place over here. Let's try this. I'm going to scale it up. And if we put it right about here, it looks like it's a slightly squashed cylinder. If I put it like this, now let's press S and Z and let's kind of squish it a bit and then move it up a little bit more, S and Z. And something like this, maybe even. Let's give it one more squish and let's try that. It looks like that's pretty close. So from here, we need to do a little bit of deleting. Let me tab into edit mode and go to face mode. And uh, let's just hit the B key and border select all of this. And let's delete this, X, and delete faces. And then I will also hit the C key and kind of paint the faces on the interior because I still had that triangle fan in there. So let's delete these. All right. And now we have this here. So I think we could probably delete this face here and this face here. And then if we select them all, we can see them here. Let's go ahead and go to vertex mode. And what I'll do here is just scale out in the Y just a bit and then scale in the Z a little bit more. And it looks like we're going to have to use the proportional editing tool to get this a little bit closer to the curve that we want. So let's go up here and turn on the proportional editing tool. And I'll select these points here and maybe these points over here. Because recall that this is a longer piece here. So actually if I turn or tab back into object mode and move this out, let's go ahead and scale it in the X and let's go to the top view and see if we can see how wide this is supposed to be. It looks like it comes out to about here. So let's try that. Yeah, that's looking pretty good actually. We do need to still use the proportional editing tool to kind of mold it into place. So let's go back here and tab back into edit mode. And with the proportional editing tool on, I'm going to press G and Z. And let's see if I can pull these down and expand these out a bit. And as I expand these out, you can see them kind of flatten up a bit and mold a little bit better to the image. And I'm not looking at the 3D object there. I'm trying to look at the image. So let's kind of go like that. And this and this, well, let me hit the B key and border select these and then border select these. And I'll turn off the proportional editing tool with the O key and then let's scale out in the Y like that. That pushes that out just a bit. All right. Let's take a look at it in solid view. All right. I'm going to grab this edge here and let's move it out like this. Yeah, so I think that's pretty good. We've got this coming out just a little bit further than those braces, and that's what we want, like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. So what we have to do now is do a little bit of extruding. We'll insert some edge loops and extrude these pieces up and get this general shape. And then once we do, we'll apply a solidify modifier. So that's coming up next.